This is me about to hydro dip my football and it's just one of seven ways that you can improve your old football products. Now the first thing I'm going to do is spray paint my football boots because that's something that Neymar did when he was younger. As a young kid in Brazil, Neymar used to dream of playing in golden boots. So he'd spray his boots gold before every match. And in 2014, Nike created the Golden Hypervenom to celebrate his appearance at the World Cup in Brazil. So I've got this pair of black boots and I'm not really a big fan of the design. It's a bit boring. So these will be the perfect boots to change. First up, I taped around the Nike logos and sole plate. I then started off by giving them a coat of white primer. This will help the gold paint stick later on. Right, so I'm going to be spray painting my boots gold, just like Neymar did, and see how they turn out. I'm excited for this, because I think this could look really cool. Right, so I can tell already, this is going to look really good. Right, I think these boots are just about done. So these boots were looking really good. Next up, I had to peel off the tape around the logo. You know what? These actually look unreal. Then finally, I laced them up, and I think they turned out amazingly. Right, so I'm at the pitch now, and I've got the gold sprayed boots, and honestly, I am really happy with how these turned out. But now it's time to test them, see if they look any good on feet, but more importantly, see if they actually last. Right, so far so good. These boots don't feel any different, so man, they, they genuinely look so cool on feet as well. Right, so now I'm gonna take some shots and hopefully by the end of it, these boots are still good to go. So after the shooting, the paint was starting to crack a little bit, but overall it was still okay. Right, so I've just finished a session in the gold boots, and apart from looking really good on feet, they've lasted okay too, they're still good to go. So overall, I would say that these are a success. So this customization improved the looks, but next up, I'm gonna try something to help performance. So I sprayed a football white, and then I got creative. So what I've done is create a football that hopefully will improve shooting. This ball will hopefully allow you to practice different shooting techniques by showing you exactly where to aim on the ball. Let's try it out and see if it works. If I want to go for power, I'll aim for the red dot. And then power straight down the middle. Now if I'm going to chip the ball, I'll aim for the blue bit. And then finally for curve, aim for the green bit. So I would say that works pretty well. So that's a good way to practice shooting. But now let's take a look at football boots again, because I've got another idea. Now, blackout boots have always been very popular. Many pros black out their boots to hide any brand logos. But should you do the same to your boots? Well, I'm going to find out. Right, so first off, I'm going to black out the Copper Mundials. I think they'll look really cool as a blackout boot. Then I'm going to move on to this trickier pair and see if I can do it with these as well. First up, I added some nail varnish remover to get rid of the paint finish on the boot. I then went in with a black leather dye on the white parts of the boot. Next up, I tried this more tricky pair. And this was the final result of the coppers. I honestly think they look great. The Puma boots didn't turn out quite as well, just because it was very difficult to cover the sock-like fabric. So I'd say this definitely works best on leather. So I had a mess around with these boots on a classic wet, muddy pitch. And I'm not sure about you, but I think these look sick. And by the end of it, they were still looking good. So I would say blackout boots is a success. Now, this next method is called acrylic fusion. And it was first done by former footballer turned artist Craig Black. And it's an awesome way of customizing your football. These are some of the sick designs he's been able to create. But I've got a feeling that it's harder than it looks. Right, so from what I've seen, we need a cup here. And then we place the ball on top. And then we pour the paint over. And hopefully, it will create a cool effect. All right, let's just pour it and see what happens. Well, that didn't work. Maybe it needs more water. This isn't very good though. All right, I'm just gonna freestyle it then. Oh no, green, oh no. 
It's all gone to pot. This is shocking. Green's coming up next. Oh, God. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I was having a shocker here. It turns out this is a lot harder than it looks. I mean, we'll see what it looks like when it dries, but so far, I would not recommend this one. It's still very, very wet. This is not good. The paint is not even close to drying, so I would not be able to use this. So what I would say with this is if you want just a cool item on show, this is perfect, but to use, that's not gonna happen. So I think it's fair to say that kind of failed, but this next customization turns out very well. For this, we're gonna need some Sharpie pens. First up, I needed to start from a blank canvas, so I sprayed the boots white. Alternatively, if you've got an old pair of white boots, that's even better. I then removed the tape and was left with these. Now it was time to put my own flair on the boots. For the right foot, I wanted to make a YouTube themed boot, and this was probably the best one. For the left foot, I just followed the colour of the boot sole plate and kind of just freestyled it as I went along. And this is how they turned out. I think the YouTube boot looked really cool, especially with the black and red stripes down the side. And then we have the orange, green and black boot, which also works pretty well. And this is what they look like together. Right, so I think these Sharpie boots look amazing and I'm useless at art and drawing, so if you're actually good at it, these could look unreal. But now let's test them out and hopefully they'll still look good by the end of it. You know what, this could seriously be one of the coolest things of the whole video because you can literally do whatever you want with them. Right, so these boots are looking really cool, but they are starting to smudge a bit. Right, so the session with these boots is done. Now let's check out the final product. So these are the boots at the end of the session and overall, I don't think they look too bad. They are smudged a little bit on the toe here, but overall, they still look pretty decent. Now, because the golden boots look so good, I wanted to see if I could do the same with a gold football. First up, I sprayed the ball with a white primer and then simply spread the ball gold. Right, so now it's time for the pitch test with the golden football. We're gonna see if it can last. And if I'm honest, I don't think it's gonna do as well as the golden boots. The ball definitely looks really cool for sure. I feel like the paint's wearing off a little bit already though. It's definitely a unique experience using one of these. So at the end of the session, some of the gold had worn off. I'd say this ball would be great to have on show, but not very good to use. Now for this next way of giving your old football products a new lease of life, I'm gonna fill this thing with water. Right, now this one should be very fun and I'm super interested to see how these turn out. Now, I've heard good things about this, but I've also heard bad things. It's very unpredictable. So by the end of it, these could look unbelievable or they could look terrible. We're about to find out. So for this, I had three different colors of spray paint. To hydro dip, I basically sprayed the surface of the water, trying to get multiple layers for the best effect. And then I dipped in the first boot and hoped for the best. Boot is going in, let's go. And that is how it's turned out. To get full coverage, I had to dip the boot a few more times. Right in there. Whoa. So for the right boot, I ended up with this pretty cool black and blue design. Now for the left foot, and it was time to get some red paint involved. Whoa, it's basically all red, that. And then finally, I decided to dip the football in too. Has it worked? Whoa! And this is how the products turned out in the end. I'm not sure either way if this looks good yet. Let me know in the comments what you think. I feel like there will definitely be mixed opinions. So on feet, these boots don't feel too much difference. They do seem a little bit stiffer. What do you think about the looks? They kind of look very unique, but... So I'm just gonna have a load of shots and see if the paint still stays on by the end of it. <laughs> Oh. 
this is how they finished up and overall I would say the Hydro Dip boots are a success.